If making art and keeping a creative practice makes you feel better, it matters, and it deserves to be some sort of priority in the rhythms of your days in life. For many of us, making art is just not only about the art itself. It is about the way that it is an access point to our sense of joy, freedom, clarity, a part of our spiritual path, perhaps. There are many, many ways it can really just nurture and revive inner parts of ourselves so that we feel better in all areas of our life. My name is Haley Carla, and I'm a lifelong artist now living in the beautiful mountains of Asheville, North Carolina. I am also a holistic creativity and transformation guide and a practicing contemplative. I am passionate about bringing together artists, healers, and seekers of all sorts who understand that there is something meaningful about keeping a creative practice and want to make that a regular part of their life, but often find themselves asking, I know this makes me feel better, but why don't I get to it? Why don't I choose that? Why does it always seem to end up last on my list of things to do and then sometimes just gets pushed to the side? So for this reason and many others, because I believe in the healing and restorative power of art making, and I also know that Artists and healers and seekers all need each other. For this reason, I've created Creative Practice Keepers Community, which is going to be a new exploration in 2021, which I feel is extremely important, and especially in these hard and strange times that we are facing. We will be looking at ways you can make your solitary practice fit into the rhythms of the actual life you are living, and we'll be doing it in bite-sized digestible ways. So don't worry about it being overwhelming. This is meant to be a dance, touching on topics that are important in places where we might get stuck and certainly looking at some of the obstacles and challenges and lies that we face about art making and creative practice and all that can come up within that, but also looking at all the joys and continuing on a rhythm of weeks and months throughout our time together that will keep our inspiration uh, our inspiration toolbox filled up, keep us feeling connected to others who actually get it, <laughs> and then also, most importantly, keep us in the actual doing of our creative practice because, as we know, this is how we feel better and a little bit more like ourselves, and there are people out there just like us who get it. And so after eight years of creating online experiences and courses and communities in different ways, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to offer a really awesome community space that is away from the noise and distraction of social media, especially in these times, and that will allow you to get quiet when you're coming just to fill up for your own personal practice, but also allow you to connect with others when you need some of that creative community connection, because both are essential to a creative soul. We need both the actual time and solitude in our own practice and the time where we connect and revive and encourage one another. And that's what Creative Practice Keepers is all about. And so I hope you'll join us.